oil. Perhaps the one constant in the automotive aftermarket. For decades and decades, it has proven to be the lifeblood of vehicles, providing lubrication to engines and gearboxes and preventing those heavy friction items from wearing out quicker. But in recent years, oil has had to change, and that's because vehicles themselves have also changed. Smaller engines running at higher pressures and higher heats with smaller sumps means that the oil industry has had to adapt with different additives and various other lubricants all working together to keep cars on the roads. But these new variations can prove taxing and especially difficult to understand for consumers, meaning that the aftermarket has to explain better to them what oil is all about today. So, what do garages and technicians need to know when it comes to modern oils? The oils industry has undergone significant transformations over the last decade, and this is to do with the automotive industry itself. Car makers are using smaller, turbocharged engines with smaller sumps in order to meet strict environmental regulations handed down to them by the European Union. Therefore, oil companies have had to adapt ensuring their products can work under higher pressures and higher heat, but with less quantity. This has led to a wider variety of viscosities, additive packs and more. And it is important that garages understand that they are using the right oils for the right engines. I think it's a, an evolution. You know, engine technology continues to become more complex. Um, and using, therefore, using the right oil, using the right quality really matters. Um, and, and it's also particularly uh, important today in order to achieve the right fuel efficiency and the, uh, the correct emission uh, regulations and targets, which are becoming more and more stringent. So the performance of the oil is becoming more critical in doing that. Um, and oil is effectively a key component in, in the vehicle performance and its longevity as well. And what we're seeing today is we're also seeing a lot of smaller engines uh, which are running at much higher temperatures, which is putting a lot more stress on, on the oil itself. Um, we are seeing uh, a lot more electric vehicles, but not an awful lot in the UK, to be quite honest. Um, and we're seeing an increase in hybrids. And, and of course, this brings different challenges for the lubricants, particularly the hybrids. But an I think an interesting thing is, is if you look at the UK vehicle park, is the age of the vehicle park. I mean, it, passenger vehicles, it's a big market. There's 30, over 35 million passenger vehicles here in the UK. Um, but nearly 17 million of those are over a decade old. And, and we're now seeing the average age of the vehicle, uh, you know, 10.6 years as it is at the moment. I mean, that, that's, that's increased significantly in the last five years. And, and so what's driving that is, is the, I mean, obviously the vehicles themselves, uh, they, they're lasting longer, they're better built, uh, um, and consumers also under price pressure, you know, with, with the economy and so forth. Can they hold on to their vehicle longer? Yeah, they can, because if they if they keep maintaining them properly uh, and using the right oils, et cetera, then then that allows them to to hold on to their vehicle longer. So vehicle park is evolving and it's changing and it's particularly changing when it comes to lubricants. It's not just pressures from the automotive industry that oil companies are facing. Globally, there is a growing need to be more sustainable. Oil may not seem like the greenest of industries, but companies are trying to do their bit, developing their products in new ways to ensure that they can meet their own sustainability criteria and help the global effort to reduce greenhouse emissions and improve the environment. Sustainability has become a, you know, a strategic imperative in the oils market and no longer just a buzzword. Um, the, you know, the entire landscape, uh, especially when it comes to energy as well as lubricants, is undergoing, you know, almost a seismic change, you know, and there's there's many reasons why it's so crucial. You know, we've got global demand uh, is evolving, electric vehicles, renewable energies, you know, rapidly gaining ground, as we know. Um, you know, there's a slight resilience um, 
uh, reducing in, in traditional oils um, just due to the, the the kind of shift that we're seeing. Um, you know, climate change. Uh, there's a there's a pressure that sits there as well, um, and regulation. So governments, investors uh, are pushing for carbon neutrality. Um, so that is leading our drive at the same time. And then we also have the the, the ESGs. You know, the environmental, social, and government metrics. You know. Um, on how companies are evaluating themselves. So uh, there's, there's, there's quite a few that really sit there. Consumer expectations, you know, are, uh, are in shifting to, to certain low carbon strategies and they look at how companies are, are producing. Uh, we've got supply chain as well. They're always looking to reduce their, uh, their emissions, you know, and, and sometimes it can be about the product, but it can also be about how you're moving products from one place to another has has a, a huge carbon impact. And then most importantly, it's, you know, that innovation and competitive edge. Um, so companies embracing sustainability, biofuels, different different ways to try and find those those offsets uh, and then positioning themselves with it. Um, and those who lag can potentially risk losing some market share or, or confidence or regulatory favours. With modern vehicles putting oil under so much pressure, any mistake in their fabrication could prove costly. Vehicle manufacturers will have their own specifications. They know what works in their engines and aftermarket suppliers have to live up to these specifications. If not, serious damage could occur that could render a vehicle undrivable. It is therefore important that vehicle specifications are taken into account when producing oils and that garages make sure these specifications are correct when putting those oils in the vehicle. It's essential that Luca manufacturers follow the specifications and can support the specifications they claim. I think the mindset that people need to get to is that, uh, yeah, an engine oil or any other lubricant that's used in the uh, in a vehicle should really be considered as a component, uh, much as you would say a component for an engine or an exhaust system or whatever. And you know, manufacturers have spent a lot of time, a lot of money developing those vehicles, those different parts of the vehicles, and the lubricant is an essential part of keeping the vehicle running and is designed to meet a particular spec and do many different jobs and manufacturers need confidence in the products that are being put into their vehicles. Increased wear may not happen immediately. Uh, damage to emission control systems may be a little more immediate. Uh, fuel economy could be drastically reduced either by the inefficient running caused by wear or the fact that components within the lubricant have contaminated the emission control systems. So there's many different facets to failure. Some are somewhat more quicker than others, but it's essential that the specifications are met and the correct product is used to maintain the correct running of the efficiency of the vehicle. It's just like uh, if you were to put the wrong fuel in a, a vehicle, you'd know immediately. If you put in diesel into a petrol engine car, you'd stop immediately. Uh, with putting the wrong lubricant in, it may not materialise as quickly in terms of damage, but it's just as important you have the correct lubricant in that engine or in the gearbox. Looking to the future, electric vehicles will also need lubricants of their own. Not perhaps additional motor oils, but products designed to keep their friction elements moving well too. These are specially crafted for electric vehicles to make sure they don't cause any problems, either material or safety, especially for technicians. Electric vehicles don't have as many moving parts as an internal combustion engine and therefore they don't require lubrication against friction components. However, they do require both thermal and transmission fluids. Thermal fluids allow for cooling of the battery to make sure they don't overheat, while transmission fluids help to reduce energy losses in the drivetrain system, improving transmission efficiency. There are going to be different fuel sources and cells in our future. Um, and if we can make each one of those focused on being sustainable in their own right, then it's about the application for the right journey, the right route, the right vehicle. You know, electric 
vehicles make sense in cities you know condensed area um if you can reduce the pollutants shorter journeys then then electric could be perfect solution for it if you've got people making those longer commutes you know hybrid vehicles where you have that hybrid short range capacity but with that efficient petrol engine or diesel engine for the long it, it makes sense so you know there's many things come in there's sustainable fuels ammonia fuel cells you know hy hydrogen uh is 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 being played around with at the moment um you know we've got battery cells with immersive battery technology so there's there's lots there's lots of things so it's it's hugely important that we innovate in 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 areas and and see how we can do the the the, the sustainability piece for all of those so oil is going nowhere. It's going to be needed for decades to come. As long as there are petrol, diesel and hybrid cars with internal combustion engines on the roads. But pressures on oils and lubricants are going to increase, especially in the environmental sense. And for technicians, understanding these changes, understanding the best oil for a vehicle and speaking to customers about what they can get from their lubricants package is going to be essential. As cars in the UK get older and older, oils are going to become even more important, reducing wear and tear and keeping them on the road. And correct education and using the right oils will therefore prove essential. It's an area that garages cannot afford to lack in training and cannot afford to not speak to customers about.